comedy clubs, pubs and a big long table down the middle of a street in Cork are just some of the ways that architect Dermot Bannon thinks we can renew and revitalise our towns and cities' spaces. In his newest show, Super Spaces, Dermot explores the ways in which people are making the most of our urban towns and cities and all of that sort of stuff while so many sectors are struggling including retail and he joins us now to discuss his ideas Dermot good morning to you good morning and I, his houses too I, I know you're all about the different uh, ways people use spaces and design and, and everything. bend them to their will so their, that they yes. live better It's and, and the whole idea behind this series was not to alienate you see if you do a show like Incredible Homes people think oh it costs 5 million what's it got to do with yeah, me yeah, yeah. if you do super small spaces they think well I have a regular house I don't I, I can actually so this series is all about design and it goes from everything from towns, villages, cities. So I don't know anybody who saw it last week. Most people should have seen it. A lot about this, small spaces yeah, last week. You can watch week. it on the player. Yeah, of course <laughs> but, you can. But we, we, like I so said, one example of what we did last week in a city was we went to Limerick and the new rugby experience yeah. in Limerick. And it was trying to, like, I just think that's brilliant. Not because it's a beautiful building, because it is. It's designed by Neil McLaughlin. But in cities now, how do we drag people back into mm-hmm. cities? Why, why, why do they need to come back in? Retail is, it's not that it's on its knees, but if you need stuff, you go online. it's competing with online and exactly. that's a very different way. But then you walk around and I was fascinated during the summer walking around Dublin and you see Drury Street, yeah. you see South Wales, and people want to gather, right? Yeah. How many tickets were sold for Taylor Swift? How many tickets were sold for Oasis? How You're many? right. The congregation the con- thing is still within still us. We still have this Without the thing. church, it's and, still in us. And so how do our cities now mould themselves and our villages to provide spaces that people actually want to go to as opposed to saying, we'll put a museum here. We're going to put an yeah. art gallery. There's too niche. I was really interested. You are talking about this idea of, of a big long table down uh, the street in Cork. Yeah, and, and it was, that was only about a couple of weeks ago and I just thought it was fascinating. Totally. And, yeah. and it reminds me of many, many years ago that I was on holidays and my kids were small. I was in Siena in, in Italy. Italy. That little square? That little square. And yeah. they do the campo and they do yeah. all the horse racing and everything. But after they do that, to celebrate and to kind of keep the celebrations going, they don't go to the pub. They don't do the kind of things that maybe we would do. Yeah. They put down their long streets that sort of radiate out like yeah. spokes. They put long tables and you can pay, I think we, you pay a five euros or ten euros and, sit up and up. you join in yeah. and you sit among other people and people want and that. they serve cheap carafes of wine and yeah. they serve big plates of pasta and everyone sits and they sit there for hours talking to neighbours and friends and strangers. It's one of the most impactful things I've ever done mm-hmm. because I was just there as a tourist and we were as welcome as locals. As yeah. And oh, you've got kids, you know, it was all of that. And I thought, God, now I know the weather works against us, but there are ways oh, around I that. I don't know. Like but I you're think exactly right. We, we've got, we, you know, drinking culture is... Is, is debilitating or not debilitating that's the wrong word it's 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 lessening um, sure. and, but I think like things like comedy clubs things that yeah. we're, we're going to have to reinvent how we gather and how we and people want to do it like one of the, the, the stories in tonight's episode is Westport as a, as a town and what Beautiful they've done town. over 20 but it, everybody says oh I love Westport and the re, there's a reason behind it for 20 years they've chipped away at it like it's really fascinating one car parking space a year they've got rid of uh, they got rid of the overhead cables they the planting it's all everything's it's a huge big investment in Westport that they've spent billions on it to turn it into the, it's not it's tiny tiny but they have things. loads of community I mean they always win the tidy towns they're all that so they have that but they also have that is it called the octa- what's the called? octagon the octagon yeah they, that town was designed with a central space for, as you say, but congregating it dead, and it's made such a difference. It, it was dead 20 years ago. It, people just drove through it. People just drove through, you know, and, and actually that's one of the key things. A lot of times people are saying we need to get rid of cars out of cities. It all needs to be pedestrianised and all that. In Westport, the cars still go through it because mm-hmm. it's still a working town. Everybody who comes in from the periphery still needs to come in and park somewhere. You can't, so it works for yeah. cars, it it's, works for it, people, it works for... So easier to do for a town than a city though, isn't it? I don't know. I think it's easier for a city because we've more people. Like we, we you've all, you've got an immediate audience. Space. You don't have to drag people in. Like look at I was I, I loved watching Dublin during the summer and how people were spilling out in some streets and then not in others. And I'm just why are they not doing it in others? And we need to start learning lessons and really some uh, of it's to do with pedestrianisation. Some stuff of it's like to do with pedestrianisation. It? Some of it's to do with the shops that are there, the facilities, um, the type of like you're not going to get people hanging outside pennies. And I'm not. Or, no, no, no. Or, 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 or dons or whatever. Small independent. People go into town now to browse. They go into town to see something that they, they can't buy online. They go in for their lunch. Drury go, Street is a good example of that. But little little, little how, how many boutiques sh- and things. How many kinda, restaurants have yeah. closed down over the last couple Too of weeks? If, you, if you're on Instagram and you're mm. watching another one, another one, another one. They're, that's, they're the reasons people go into town. 
they go into town to eat, to gather, to do, and we need to mind and I like those. I like this mindset, I really do. So what can we expect this evening? Uh, we've got amazing houses. We've got uh, a little coffee shop that both myself and Shane know. Uh, we've uh, we've got Westport City. Uh, we've got Owen Colfer's little writing studio. He's got this amazing little magical studio and not what you'd expect. You'd expect because he writes books and he yeah. sells all over the world. It's going to be amazing and big. It is tiny. It's like stepping inside a TARDIS. Um, like Will Dahl right in the shed. Absolutely. And no, no, it's smaller than a shed. <laughs> Where do you see it? Where do you see it? it? But it's all mirrors and painted. It's it's brilliant. It, uh, so uh, I was going to say the word hodgepodge, but that's not kind of doing it. Just it's it's a real kind of magazine show full of design things that people can take away. I know. I love it. And loads of people are so interested. Before we let you go, though. Yeah. Your health, Dermot. I was so yes. sorry to hear you had had quite a bit of trouble. I had, yeah, I suppose it's the last month has been a bit uh, stressful and traumatic, but I'm, I'm kind of out the other side of it, really lucky and very thankful that I was, I was, ca- it was caught and I was caught early. Clots but, in both lungs? Clots, clots in both lungs, yeah. It had worked its way up from my leg and, which I didn't know. And uh, I'm one of these people, they still, they like, I, obviously there's, there's key signs. If you've had an operation, if you had cancer care, if you, 90 days after operation, you're in huge risk. Yeah. If you've had a fall. That mine Lights. is called spontaneous, where okay. they, they don't know what caused it. Uh, so signs are if you've got swelling in your leg, swelling in your arm, you know this, Kira. I do. Um, if you've got, what I had was I'd, sh- I'd sharp pains in my side, which I thought was broken rib because it wasn't the heart side. So I only panic when there's a pain on the left hand side. Everything on the right hand side, it's muscular. That's it's it's so I had sharp pains there, a shortness of breath when I was going up hills. I, and I do you know what I was putting it down to old age. But actually, you're old not age, very I, old. I, well, I realize that old age doesn't creep up on you that quickly. No. Like I thought it kind of happened you, to you, me overnight. You look in rude health now and we are, are delighted that you are so well. And um, I, I'm sure I'm sure as are all your family and friends. And, and look, tonight would be brilliant because I think that kind of mindset about how we reinvent our, our use of, of space in general, I think, is a, is a key I, there's thing. There's so many TV shows and everything about giving out about everything. And we, I wanted a, a, to do a show about solutions. All right. Look, thank you so much yeah. for joining us. And the best of luck with everything, Dermot. I just really do mean it. That is, as I say, the one, the only Dermot Bannon. What time is it on? Tonight? 9.35 no, no, or T1. 9.35 or T1. And you can catch it on the player too. Of course. <laughs>